When you see that a product is powered by AI, is that a plus or a minus for you? I never really gave it much thought until I read a recent article. As I pondered the results of a recent survey that the article was reporting on, I realized that I think the automation solution providers in the accounting and accounts payable space appear to be making a big marketing mistake, at least in my opinion. Let me explain. Most professionals, but definitely not all, in the accounting, finance, and accounts payable space do not want to be on the bleeding edge, although they do want to be on the leading edge. What am I talking about? What's the difference? Let me explain. Bleeding edge versus leading edge. These terms are most frequently used to describe technology advances. Bleeding edge refers to those advances that are so new they are only used by a very few. That's because they are usually not fully tested, may be quite costly, and frequently have bugs that require fixes. Beta sites are an example that some might be familiar with. The advantage, of course, is that these innovators will be among the first to get the full benefit of the new technology. The downside, which is often considerable, is that the technology is often still being tweaked at this stage. Leading edge, on the other hand, is used to describe new technology technology or processes that are advanced but have been fully tested and deemed reliable. Most accounting and accounts payable and finance professionals would prefer to be leading edge rather than bleeding edge. How do you view your company? Are you willing to be on the bleeding edge? Let us know in the comments below. Stick around, stick around until I explain my light bulb moment and then come stick around while I explain my light bulb moment and then I'll come back to bleeding edge AI and automation in accounts payable solution. Now on to that light bulb moment. I read an article by TechSpot and the lights went off. Here's what triggered that light bulb moment. TechSpot wrote, a study by Washington State University published in the Journal of Hospitality Marketing and Management surveyed 1,000 adults to evaluate the link between AI disclosure and consumer behavior. It was found that one group of participants was much less likely to buy a smart television when it included AI in the description. Another group that saw the same description without the AI part was much more likely to buy the TV. So I wondered, why are so many of our automation service providers making such a big deal about the AI features in their product? Consider this, when I turn on my computer in the morning or power up my cell phone, and I suspect you're the same, I just want them to work. I don't care about the behind the scenes mechanics. In fact, I don't wanna know what goes on inside those boxes. Do you feel the same way? I feel the same way about the tools I use for work, including automation. I'm more concerned that the product does what I need it to do, rather than it has a particular feature. To be honest, how it achieves what it does is totally irrelevant to me. And that's where bleeding edge and leading edge come back, come into play. So back to the bleeding edge. I remember interviewing two men a few years ago from a large Fortune 500 company about the use of best practices and technology. They were very proud of the fact they, they always wanted to be on what they called the bleeding edge. While I respect that enormously, and I am glad there are people like that, I'm not one of them. And I suspect that 98% of my colleagues in accounting, finance, accounts payable feel the same way. That percentage is probably even higher when you look at management. They just want the technology to work. I've got enough other information clogging up the limited space in my head without wasting time on how everyday technology work. And we are fast approaching the point where automation solutions, the accounts payable automation, invoice automation, are everyday technology. That should be a good thing as far as the automation solution providers are concerned. The business community, especially those in the accounts payable space, are adopting automation at a really good speed. Many are even dipping their feet in the AI waters outside of the automation solution and finding it useful in some cases. Cases, but well aware, they are well aware that it often produces inaccurate results. Of course, the inaccurate results get a lot of attention. 
but most professionals don't really care if it's in the automation solution or, or not. What's more, and this is important, many professionals are fearful of AI. They either don't understand it or worry that it will ultimately eliminate their job. Of course, many of these fears are unrealistic, but that's besides the point. This is definitely a situation where perception is more important than reality. So highlighting a feature that many fear and don't understand um, doesn't seem to be a winning tactic in my book. We don't need we don't need a premise of incorporated AI, AI to hold back the automation progress that has been made so far. So why are so many automation solution providers touting the fact that their solution incorporates AI when most of their target audience, that's you and me, couldn't care less or worse, view it as a negative. I believe when it comes to automation in the accounts payable workspace, most professionals want to be somewhere between leading edge and just plain best practice. They have no desire to be leading the parade and most of their companies agree. So what does this mean? I'm not saying don't build AI into an automation product if the developer believes it will enhance the product. If that's the belief, go for it. You'd be foolish not to use it. You should use whatever will create a superior product. That should be obvious, or at least I hope it is. But don't highlight it in your marketing. You're turning potential customers away before you've even had a chance to get them through the proverbial door. They're not yet comfortable with AI. They're not sold on the benefits. So why are you making your job harder? Yes, if they ask you when you're demoing the product, if your product uses AI, you need to answer honestly. But hopefully by that point, you've won them over with all the wonderful features in your solution. But that's it. Don't call attention to it if they are not the type likely to be on the bleeding edge, especially then. And if you're not sure where you stand, don't mention it until they do. We at AP Now believe invoice and accounts payable automation is here to stay and every organization will be using some solution within the next few years. I hope that's obvious. In fact, we're doing a panel discussion with a group of automation service providers in a few weeks. We're going to ask them the questions that you were probably too polite to ask, at least in public. Check back here to see it shortly. We'll have a link to it here once it's been produced. You're we serious think. about staying ahead in today's fast-paced, competitive, technology-driven business world, understanding automation in accounts payable isn't just important, it's essential. That's why we've crafted an in-depth must-watch guide that breaks down everything you need to know. Whether you're looking to streamline your processes, reduce errors, or simply save time and resources, this guide has the insights you can't afford to miss. And best part, you can watch it right now. Click on the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen or that you can find conveniently in the description.